Accusations of racism leading to more personal attacks on the campaign trail. People will look at that and say, you seem desperate. Donald Trump's campaign manager hitting back at Hillary Clinton's running mate for remarks he made last week linking Trump to former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard David Duke. Donald Trump is pushing their values. Ku Klux Klan values, David Duke values. In the case of Tim Kaine, I mean, we expect the, the rough and tumble politics, the lies from Hillary Clinton and her folks. But Tim Kaine, you've been a mayor, a senator, a governor. You're running for vice president, Harvard Law degree. And you stoop so low that you, that you are making these allegations. And I think it's going to backfire. But Duke, who's running for a Senate seat in Louisiana, is promoting Trump in robocalls for his Louisiana Senate campaign. It's time to stand up and vote for Donald Trump for president and vote for me, David Duke, for the U.S. Senate. Trump had been criticized for not disavowing Duke's endorsement quickly enough during the primary. Trump's campaign did quickly disavow the robocalls in a statement and on CNN. It's absolutely disturbing. The Trump campaign has no knowledge of the campaign that David Duke is running, and we have disavowed David Duke and don't condone any of the activities that he's doing. At a fundraiser in the Hamptons, Clinton saying Duke's Senate bid is a byproduct of Trump dog whistles to racist voters. This as Trump supporter Pastor Mark Burns apologized after tweeting this photo of Hillary Clinton in blackface, mocking her outreach to black voters. The last thing I want to do is to to offend people. Meanwhile, the Republican nominee seizing on the latest sexting scandal surrounding the husband of longtime Hillary Clinton advisor Uma Habedin. She's married to a guy that is uncontrolled and uncontrollable. Abedin announcing her separation from disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner after the New York Post published suggestive pictures he allegedly sent to another woman with his child lying next to him. Something people close to the family tell CNN left Abedin furious and sickened. Trump using the opportunity to slam Clinton's, quote, bad judgment. He's a sick person and... You know, she has access to classified information. To think that it's very likely that much of this information Anthony Weiner would know about. And I think it's something that was terrible.